Welcome yeah. back. We got Ramon with us today. Well, no, we don't anymore. He's gone. Live to the show. Doing something different today. We got Ramon with us. Round of applause is for Ramon. Yes. We will be miking the drum set today. It only took us a, a fucking pandemic to mic the drums. We got the SM kick mic. We're trying to get it in the, the most center of the kick. And you see we have hella fucking padding here. The thing about miking and shit is like if you angle something just like a little bit off, um, like with vocals for instance, if you angle a mic a little bit off, you can get some of like the high end out or like it changes the it changes the the frequency response. You can get a long way with just mic placement. That's a big thing that old head engineers will fucking tell you all day is like mic placement over plugins. But we have so many fucking sick like RC20 these days <laughs> that it's we're like but we have sick plugins. We have plug fucking RC20 and and all these filters that are sick, so it's like, fuck it. But the moral of that story is that, what? like, an inch movement can mean the world. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk, let's talk overheads. So, um, they don't talk because they're just mics, but they pick up sound. <laughs> that's great, bro. That's what we need, actually. Two stereo octavas, and then the old 57. 57. I can never remember if that's a 57 or the 58. Okay, so all the mics are running to this guy right here. Mm, do we have headphones? Which is a snake. Yeah, you got it. The snake goes you got a right goes through the whole shit into the back so you don't have to shove everything into that interface. Nice. That's great. We're also micing the, uh, the amp here. All right, give me a little signal. Just give me kick first. Recording, and then we can see how it sounds. Uh huh. We talked about miking drums for six years, but we're in business now, man. That just you know what I'm using those overheads for too is the acoustic wide image. Do the 12 string. Look at this jank ass mic stand, bro. It's like his legs just as. What is that? Look at this. I think you just play and we just record for a little bit and then I'll chime in. Yeah. Wow. We're really doing something. slow with the rim. A lot of space. Rock or um or bossa nova or vibey vibey guitar shit. You sounded good out there, Tam. You cranking it, boy. It was a good session, man. 
Uh, let's make some new shit. Let's jam. Alright, so here is the magic of recording drums live. You basically do it to get the feel, right? So, this is a trick that my homie Laven, Laven Kali put me onto very recently. So, shouts to Laven. But, um, so here we have like drums. This is not, this is not gyps, but this is just some, a classic break off YouTube. In Ableton, if you right click the drum groove, and you go to convert drums to new MIDI track, it converts that shit, and then you have a MIDI track with the same timing as the drums, but you can choose your own sounds now, and you can like throw your own kick in there, so if I want to throw it in my fucking kick, boom boom, drag it in, and you can do that with all your sounds, but that's like the best feature of this because I mean drums that are just completely quantized can be really boring so this is kind of a way that we can integrate uh, human feel to our grooves hope this shit helps peace out